I'm going to walk you through how I do a little spot coloring on a black and white image to make an interesting, different looking image. Now you can do this with a black and white image where you add the color in. I'll do that in a different tutorial. Or if you start with a color image and take out the color, you can do it that way as well. Either way, before you start, what you want to do is like here, right here is my original image that I'm going to change and make black and white except for the little yellow poofy thing on the end of this cucumber. And you need to go up to image and then you need to look at your mode and you need to make sure that it's selected for RGB color so that there will be color you can or you can add color to your image. So if you look at the image that I am going to end up with, this black and white cucumber with the yellow little tassel, as you see I have two layers over here. I've got a desaturated top layer, which is the black and white layer, and I've got the color. Not only is there the difference in the color, but you will see when I make this not visible, that there is a selected out area here so that the color can shine through. And I'm going to take you through those quick little steps to do that. So let's go back to our original image and then let's make the first thing I do is make a duplicate layer. Well actually I'm going to go back. I'm going to actually change this to color just to make it easier for me to know what I did. Let's see, I'm going to change the name to color which is you just click on the name there and then it should give you the option to change it. So I'm going to call that color. Okay. And then I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to call this layer dup uh, desaturated layer. Actually I'm going to call it top layer so then it will be easier in this description. And so I want to have that layer be on top. Actually, yes, yes, that's what I want to do. So anyway, the first thing I'm going to do then is hide the color layer. And then I am going to desaturate that top layer. And so to do that, make sure it's selected. Go up into Image and choose Adjustments. And then come down here and do Desaturate. And you see it changes color. Now this way of doing it, sometimes makes the color look really bad or I should say the lack of color, the black and white is pretty dark. So I'm going to change that, make it uh, more contrasty, less dark. And to do that I'm going to go up into Image, go into Adjustments and go to Levels. And you get this little uh, slider here or input levels up here. And what you can do is you see the graph is skewing more towards the dark because here's your whites and then here's your mid ranges and then here's your blacks. So I take the little slider for my mid range and I move it a little bit more to the left and you see that this little box right here the numbers are changing That's and it's lightening it up. You should see that over there on your screen. Then let's take the black and move that down a little bit to the right. Change that because what you want to have is like it's a nat natural graph where your mid ranges are, you know, the majority of your thing is, are the grays. And you want to get ha still have some really nice blacks and some whites. So that looks good to me. So I'm going to click on OK there. All right. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here to the color, select my color, hide my top layer visibility, and then I'm going to come over here to my toolbar. And I'm going to click on the zoom thing and I'm going to make this a little bit larger so that I can see. Because what I'm going to do now is select out on the image this little yellow area. And because this is color, it's easy to use your magic wand 
tool, which is the one right over here. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to make sure that the tolerance up here is 32. And so then I'm going to come down here and start clicking on the yellow. And it does select a good area, but I not enough. So don't despair. Just now push down your shift key and then click in some more yellow areas. And here I go clicking away. I want to actually click through this whole area. And it's doing a pretty good job. I, so what I'm doing is, and you see how the magic wand, you get a little plus sign next to it. That way you know you're adding to your selection and it's growing and growing. Now that I've gotten a pretty good amount, I can do some more selecting by using some lasso tools which might work a little better. So I come over here to my uh, tool kit again, grab the lasso tool, make sure the shift key's still holding down, and then I take it and I'm, and I'm taking my lasso tool and going in and just grabbing a whole bunch of those areas that are still show the marking ants. And let's go over to the right area here and let's grab some more over this way. This one makes it a little difficult. You've got this little green spot right there in the middle of it. Let's see. See how good I am. Keep that shift key down so that you're making sure that you're just adding to your selection. There. That's pretty good. Move a little bit more. Okay. Okay. So that's done. But I want to make sure, I know I zoomed in quite close, so I want to make sure I didn't select something I didn't mean to select. So I'm going to make it, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. No. No, it looks like it, nothing else except that little tassel part is selected. Oops, I do see a little bit area eh, at the very bottom that isn't selected. I'm going to grab my magic wand tool and try and grab some of that just to make sure. There. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so now I've selected it on the color layer, but I want to actually cut it out of the desaturated black and white layer. So in order to do that, I need to now show the top layer as visible and then select the top layer. So you see, you see how the selection is still there, but now we're going to be working on this layer. And so all you simply do now is hit delete. And then you can hide your marching ants. If you don't want to stop your selection because you it took you so long to pick it out, you can actually use the the control I and it will hide you. Oops. You can actually use the control H. <laughs> there it is. Sorry. <laughs> I had a little brain blip there. But anyway, there you go. You can see how it looks. And that's how you select out your color and just highlight that. See, there's my, here's my original, and here's what I was showing you I was going to do. So there you have it. Thank you, and I hope this helped. For more information on how to do Photoshop, video, marketing, go to howtosellyourvideos.com.